So this time, if you want to get to, is it Calabar? Yes. It's Calabar. If you want to get to Calabar, you don't need to take a flight. You just need to come to the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen. Why? Because Chef Debbie has something sweet in store for us today. Welcome back to the show. Thank you very much. You're taking us on a trip to Calabar today. What are we making? Okay, we are making a ferrotong. So one more time. A ferrotong. Okay, so I'm going to act like I can pronounce it and just allow you pronounce it every <laughs> single time. Uh, but you need to tell us okay. what this dish is about. Okay. Um, the Afro tongue means calabar style um, okra soup. Okay. What? Why didn't you just say that one before now? Nah. The Afro style. Uh, okay. Okra soup. Okay. All right. Okra soup. Yes. Now I'm seeing two different. In fact, three, th three different. Um, what do they call them? What? What do you mean? Sides. Sides. Like what you use to eat it. Oh, so is it? Wait. So the soup is the main meal, and then yeah. the others are the sides. As just accompaniment. Got you. Accompaniment. Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Because I'm seeing rice here. I'm seeing yellow gary. I'm seeing yam. Oh, water yam and cocoa yam. All this <laughs> in one dish. Wow. Okay. Now, how do we begin? Where do okay. we start from? We start by making the soup. Okay. Let's go. Let's talk ingredients. Okay. Um, now, uh, for the okra soup, obviously, you need okra. Yes, you need okra. Right? How are you cutting this okra? You're Chunky. going to, no, we we'll have to dice it okay. into smaller cubes and then pound okay. it. And then pound it. Yes, you have to pound Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Now we have here... Stockfish. Stockfish. And that's dry river catfish. Dry river catfish. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Very, very dry there. Uh, now we have rice, parboiled, I believe. No, that's washed rice. Washed? We'll it's not parboiled. It, yeah. no, it looks not. so white. Wow. It's washed. You have to wash it to the point where you can't find starch in it. Wow, interesting. It's been washed so well that it's already white. Okay, now we have protein in there. What sort of protein is okay, in there? Okay, we that? have um, beef and cowhide, which is pomo. Pomo, okay. Cowhide and beef. Parboiled there? No, not parboiled. That's already marinated. Marinated. With, um, okay. Fresh uh, pounded scotch bonnet pepper. Okay. Salt and seasoning cube. Fantastic. We have yellow gari here. Yes, this one we use to make the swallow. Swallow. And we have more? The, pound, the pounded scotch bonnet. Mm -hmm. This is seasoning cube. This okay. is native palm oil. Salt. Pounded crayfish, and, and this is the main ingredient, otong itself. This is otong? Yes, this is made from burnt, um, dry, burnt plantain peel. Wow. And then blended. So what I'll do here is just add water and then sieve out the water itself. Hmm. I'll allow it to settle for a while and then sieve the water out, which is what I'll use in making the soup. So one more time, this is dried? Dried. Burnt, burnt, blended plantain peel. Wow, the skin of plantain has yes. a use. I didn't know, apart from compost, obviously. Uh, so this is what it looks like. The otong, <laughs> this is what it looks like. I uh, hope I pronounced it well. Yes, otong. It looks a little like charcoal. No. It look, okay, that's well, because it like, it's burnt. Yeah, it looks gray, like a charcoal cover, color. But it, I don't have any specific aroma to it yet maybe because it's not been mixed with water maybe because it's not on the heat no and that's smell it. because um it's plantain peel and it's mm. burnt all right okay i'm going to be watching attentively and you should be too hopefully uh you've you know seen some of these ingredients uh, at home already and maybe you've maybe wondered why your mom had it in the kitchen you don't know why she had it and uh, this is how she's gonna prepare it so uh, we have okay so yam. this is cocoa yam and water yam okay. i'll have to grate it with mm, a grater a grater yeah and then i'll add salt to the mixture and then wrap it with um moi moi leaves we call okay. it yes okay is it i use moi moi leaves or you use um, plantain leaves okay fantastic so now there's a lot to do. We have to get to it. While you figure out whether you have all these ingredients or not, maybe you should try. Use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC and let's see what you're up to in your kitchen. We are going to take a quick break, but Chef Debbie and I are going to get to work right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Now, Chef Debbie has been hard at work making sure everything is prepared. And uh, we're making, you have to say it for me. <laughs> say it, say it. Efere Otong. Efere Otong. 
and mm. it's a, a calabar version of okra soup that has many different obstacles to it. Uh, if you missed it earlier, the ingredients are really interesting. There's okra here, there's stockfish, there's crayfish. Now, this is coco yam. Coco yam and water yam. And water yam mixed. Yes. Now, it has a very interesting texture. Once you grate it. Yes, I yeah. added um, a little water and salt. Okay, water and salt. Yes. And it, it sort of draws. Yes, it right? does. It draws. It does. I, I was surprised to see it was drawing when you were done with that. Um, now, you also have beef and pomo there. Yes, what I sort do. of vegetable is this? That's a mixture of um, fluted pumpkin and hot leaf. We call it hot uziza leaf. or etinkeni oh, in wow. my language. Uziza, okay. Say it again, etinkeni. I'm Hot getting... sleeve or yeah. eating Kenny okay. in my language. <laughs> Fabulous. Now you uh, s washed and yes, sliced, I sliced that. them to okay. be very big. They okay. are not supposed to be small. They're supposed to be seeing them in the soup. What do we have on the heat? Already? Okay, we have um, rice. Okay, we have rice on the heat. Uh, let's leave that open for a second. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and have? this is the ayanek pan. Okay. That's pumpkin. Yes, I was able to grate it, wrap okay. it, and then cook it. All right, it. which is this? Yes. Right? So the, the uh, cocoa yam and the water, water yam yes. grated and wrapped in uh, pumpkin leaves or yes. banana leaves. Banana leaves. And you're steaming that now? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Now, uh, are we using this for anything? Yes, I'm too? using this for the soup. For the soup? Yes. Well, are we going to get to the soup anytime soon? I don't know. I'm of looking course. at this stockfish. No. I'm wondering if it's going to take a long time to uh, get Okay, soft. when you're making um, some soups, you yeah. have to go for some uh, the stockfish that is not hard. Okay, okay. All That's right. where you save time. And All right, fantastic. So what are we doing right now? Okay, we are going to proceed to making the soup. All we'll right, First of all, boil this. All right. So this meat, go ahead, please. This meat was uh, marinated. marinated with some scotch bonnet pepper, uh, you also added salt and, salt and, seasoning, and seasoning. Beautiful. How long was it marinated for? Um, overnight. overnight. And then it was uh, put in the freezer. All right. Fantastic. Beautiful. So that's going to stay on the heat. Are you adding water to that? No, I'll, I'll allow it to cook in its own juice for the next three to five minutes okay. before right. proceeding to add water. Fabulous. So while it's steaming, I would... Mm. Mm. You start working. The bone, the fish, and then the stockfish. All right. So now this stockfish we're talking about here, um, it's very common to find in the market. But uh, is there any specific thing you look out for when you want to buy your fish? Well, sometimes I make sure I ask for akpama. Okay. Because that's one of the best species of stockfish you get to find in the market. Okay. Okay. Is and it... then sometimes I go for the head, like mm -hmm. you've seen here. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I go for the cutlets because they have uh, more taste than mm -hmm. the other parts. So I've heard this before. You buy the, the stockfish head because there's more flavor in it. Yes. Hmm, that's interesting. A lot of people don't eat fish head normally. But for stockfish, you go for the head. And because it's fleshy, mm. the stockfish head is fleshy. All right. Fantastic. So uh, deboning this uh, dried fish now is... Looking, so it's catfish, so meaning that the head itself here is quite heavy and bony. Uh, are we cooking all of it together or just uh, the fleshy parts? Mm, I can see the head here on the side. What do we have? I'm going to be discarding this. Okay, fantastic. All right, so there are some that you have to just pay attention to. She's taking away the catfish head. But the stockfish head is going to go straight into the pot. Let's take a quick break, everyone. Let's do what we can to try our own version of this at home and post it online. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. We'd love to see what you're up to in the kitchen. All right, then. Thank you so much, Chef thank Debbie. Much. We're taking a quick break. There's still more coming your way on Wake Up Nigeria. Incredible, impronounceable food is happening in the kitchen right now. But uh, yeah, we trust Chef Debbie. She has always done us well. She has done us right. In pronunciation again. Uh, Maybe I and Winfrey could try. Uh, I don't want to bite my tongue it. this time. What is it? Again? I almost did earlier. Uh, Chef, what is it again? The name of the meal. One more time. Eferotong. Eferotong. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen is abuzz with activity. So much activity, in fact, Chef Debbie. <sighs> okay, rice is almost done, right? Yes. Um, you didn't add anything apart from salt to the rice. No, just salt. Just salt. Uh, we also have something going on here. We are parboiling, or let's say we're boiling our meat yes. in its own juices. Right? I've added um, a little water. A little it. water, but you left it to heat in its for own juice. Five for five minutes before probably. adding the water. All right. So do we need the, the stock of that meat? Yes, for we'll the be soup? using the stock for okay. the soup. Beautiful. Let's open up the pots and show everyone what's going on in there. Okay. Let's see. So the stock fish is in there now. This is in there. Right? Now, this is what cooked. is this? This is... This is the ayane pam. Ayane pam. Coco yam. Coco yam, water yam, water salt, yam. and salt. wrapped in banana leaves. Okay, so is this ready now? Yes, it is. It didn't take too long at all. No, it did not. Would you mind if we, we see what's happening inside one of them, please? Let's, um, I want to see how it looks. Because the way you wrapped it, you wrapped it like a long sausage shape, sort of. I don't know, it's not like moi moi wrapping. It's, uh, it's more simple. It kind of reminds me of, ooh, kind of reminds Every me. Every po, right? Kind of reminds me of how a core looks, um, but a core is usually more. Or more the more um, Yoruba version, which is yeah. called Ebriko. Ebriko. Ebriko, right? Well, Ebri. Ebriko. Okay, I'll get it eventually. So, this is another side you can use to eat this soup, right? Yes. All right, fantastic. I love the way it looks. Usually, the traditional method is this, mm. but because we have people who do not like this, so. Mm. We proceed to using either swallow or rice. Okay, fantastic. I will definitely be tasting this later on. But there's still a lot to do. Yes, there's still a lot to do right here. We are done with um, the prep. Okay, with the prep. We call it misen plus. We so. have this okra here. Can we talk about this okra? Yes, now? this is chopped and pounded. So you pounded it with uh, like a mortar? Yes, a mortar. Okay. I didn't know they used to pound okra, shall Yeah, we pound it. All right. Did you add anything to no, nothing. make it draw? Just the okra. Just okra. No salt, nothing? No, nothing. Beautiful. In there. Now, um, I want to talk a bit about this one more time. When this is... Please pronounce this. Correctly. That is otong. Otong, yes. And you said it is dried, burnt, burnt plantain. plantain. Plantain Plant peel. Plantain peel. Okay. It has been blended, so I'll be adding water to it now. All right. So could you show... That's what it looks like when you add the water. Yeah, I will. All right, go ahead. Okay. It's changed. <laughs> it looks different. Let's see if we can show everyone what it looks like right now. It looks very different, uh, but it does have that dark charcoal color that I was talking about earlier on. Yes. So you said you were going to drain the water of this. I'll sieve it. You'll sieve it out? Yes. And then what's left is what you add to the... the water is what I will use. Oh, it's only the water you're using? Yes. Fantastic. The water of it is going to go into the soup. Yes. Beautiful. Palm oil hasn't gone in yet at all. Not yet. Another thing I noticed, I noticed we don't have any onions or garlic no, no, here. No, no, we don't use um, onions usually. Mm. We the um, efforts, we don't use onions for some traditional soups. Okay. That's because we, we see that the onions tries to contradict that traditional feel we expect in our soup. Okay. It changes the flavor, changes yes, it the, does. The, the aroma. Of it the changes soup. the flavor, it changes the texture of the oh, soup. Okay, fantastic. So what we do not use okra, um, onions, so onions, and we do not use garlic or ginger. Wow. For our soups. That is a teachable moment right there. I did not know that. So there's still quite a bit to do. For the, for the gari, uh, I believe you're going to be boiling water and, yes, and will, heating that the, the traditional way. And uh, yeah, all we're waiting for now is for the meat and stock fish to, to soften. Ready. Fantastic. Uh, hopefully you've been trying this at home, um, but I know that some of the ingredients here might not be so easy to find in the average home, but hey, maybe when you get to the market, you can ask about it and you might Okay, when you go to the somewhere. market, um, mm. if you approach anyone who sells things from Calabar or any okay. Calabar person, yeah. you tell them you want to buy a tongue. If they don't have a tongue, meet an Igbo person and tell them you want to buy ungo. Oh, And okay. they will give you ungo. All right. So this is ungo in Ibo, and it is a tongue in Calabar. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, this is stock cubes. Yes, that's stock the cube. Chicken stock, beef stock, and yeah, That's a, a, a blend of um, no beef stock oh, and beef stock? Uh, stock cube and Maggi chicken stock oh, oh. cube. 
Okay, so you, you blended both beef and chicken cubes together. Together, yes. All right, interesting. It's a combination of really interesting flavors right here. And we are doing everything we can to make sure that this whole dish comes together on time. And we're doing amazingly, I have to say. I've been doing so much work here, Chef Kelly. I've Thank been so much. busy. <laughs> when it comes to putting things together, she's all prepped and ready to go. All we need to do is wait for this beef to soften. Once it's soft, then we pour in the rest of the ingredients. Am I right, Chef Debbie? Yes, ma'am. Gotcha. <laughs> Fabulous. Everything smells great as well. You have no idea how interesting this kitchen smells. From home, you probably can't have any idea. You need to try it yourself. I also want to see how this okra is going to turn out and whether it's going to draw. Oh, palm oil is going in. Interesting. I'm so used to frying oil before it's used or bleaching oil before it's used. But no, you're we just don't fry. Straight in. We don't fry, we don't mm. bleach. Okay, fantastic. That's because oil adds um, this test to mm. soup. Mm. So when you bleach or fry, mm. you get rid of that nice test you should have. It's such an interesting difference in cultures. Uh, diverse cultures we have here in Nigeria, especially with regards our food. And we try every single time, whenever it's possible, to give you different cultural foods, native foods, right here in the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen. There's still more, right? Still so much more. And uh, yeah, let's take a quick break. There's still quite a bit you do not want to miss right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Chef Debbie amazing. has been hard at work giving us three different alternatives to eat with this epic style okra soup called yes. Eferotong. Eferotong. I got it. Haha! -ha. Now, uh, we would love for you to taste it, but you have an option uh, of three, three options rather. Uh, this is coco yam and water yam, steamed with a little bit of salt in uh, pumpkin leaves. Then you also have rice or yellow gari. Which one? Yeah, so which will, would you like the, best? Coco yam and the water yam. All right. Uh, Great I've, I've choice. Never tasted, it never before. tasted this so before. I like the beautiful, beautiful. And then, of course, we have the okra itself. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, so what, um, what, what I'm going to ask, first of all, I've, mm. I've recalibrated my suit. Mm. I, was, I, thought that, I thought you were going to go for the Gary because you're actually a mm. Gary person. Yes, I am. But you're just tired of Gary. He's had a lot of Gary. He's eating lots of Gary, so you have to test or try <laughs> <something>. <laughs> so we won't, we won't, We won't let you taste it on live. Yes. Let's just save that for after. Yes. I'll tell you what, we are individually all going to do this behind the scenes and yes. tell you the difference. So we're going to get that on our behind the scenes. So you can see this on our Wake Up Nigeria page on yes. Instagram mm -hmm. so that we get a good definite. So mm -hmm. that would be it for today here on the show. Yes, and, uh, indeed. And of course, hey, Chef, <gasps> yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> well done. Yay. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks to everyone for joining us. And of course, thanks to you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>